Hey y'all, Instinct Survivalist here coming to you with another project. Today we'll be working on a travoy. Now some of you may say, what the heck is a travoy? What it is, is basically in the Old West, times before, people would make things to carry other items. More specifically, those that were heavy. Whether it was a person, whether they are lame, whether it's a woman, fill in the blanks, right? Carry that or a heavy objects. Also, they would use them for dogs and horses. Today, we're gonna to make a human one, and we have some materials, and I kinda, of, I'll get a close up and we'll talk about exactly what that entails, how it's gonna look, what is it for, uh, but basically the idea came from uh, some history that I was doing on Native Americans, and that's where a majority of them were, uh, or where it came from, and things of that nature. So stay tuned, we'll get a close up, we'll talk about some things, and then we'll actually build the project itself. Okay y'all, so here's what we're doing. This is the premise of it, is basically a triangle. Now you can do it as a square, uh, and have you a stick across the top here, and do the same thing. I find that uh, based on physics and things of that nature, and I'll actually put a link in, there's a site that has done all the math for me uh, and for you. So I'll actually just link his site in there. Uh, but you can actually go in and put a, put a cross beam here so that you can carry it on the outside if you wanna do that. Um, but what the whole premise is, is we have our two long sticks. Then we'll take and we'll lash the smaller sticks across. Now, the benefit is, is now with a human standing here, they can lift the weight of whatever it is. So again, whether it be a woman, whether it be, and the reason I keep saying woman is because that was one of the ways that the Indians transported uh, the women, especially the pregnant women. They couldn't ride or things like that, or if they couldn't walk uh, because they were pregnant, they would actually put them on a travoy to carry them uh, in places. Additionally, it would be for like skins, uh, meat, from one place to another, things of that nature, that's what they would use. And so what we would do is based off of the math, the further down here, the further towards the end, the less you have to pick it up and also the more weight you can carry. So the higher it is, less weight you can carry because it's more work, physical work that you have to do. The lower it is, the less work you have to do and the more weight you can carry or you can carry more weight with less work. So that is the premise of it. Again, you could use it for a dog, a horse, a man, uh, whatever you need to be. Um, but it's kind of like an early wagon, if you will. So that is the premise. Now, uh, this is very small. Uh, we're looking at about six inches uh, for each one of these sticks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna expand it out and you can see just behind me, and I'll actually get a, a close up of those. Uh, we've got two 12 foot poplar logs and I'm gonna show you the, uh, the overall, what we're gonna do, the goal that we're gonna try to reach at the end of that, okay? So stay tuned, we'll get some, uh, get some full size going, but I wanted to kind of lay out the premise for you of what we're looking at overall, okay? All right, so I hope you don't get motion sickness, but we're gonna try to walk through some of this. So this is my poplar logs, or these are my poplar logs for correct English, 12 foot long. In a perfect world, each one of these would be straight, but we don't live in a perfect world, right? The closest thing we have is the poplar logs, um, and I didn't have enough of them for it. So we're going to use these, um, and it will perform the same function. Now, what am I trying to do? What is the overall goal? That right there is a solid piece of oak. It weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of about 90 pounds. And I can tote it. I can move it across the yard really well. But why should I if I don't have to, right? Uh, so what we'll do is the end result is we're going to put that on our travoy and go from point A to point B. All right. So let's actually look at building the travoy, what that takes and what it entails. Okay. So what am I going to need as far as materials go? Well, first off, you're going to need the long sticks, logs, whatever you want to call them. Again, these are 12 foot. I think this one's 12. I think this one's 11. You're going to need some rope or some cordage for lashing. And I use the term cordage just because I want you to think outside of the box, right? It's not just a matter of, oh, hey, let me go to the store and buy some of this. You might not have this available to you. So what else are you doing? You could use something like a honeysuckle vine and uh, intertwine it. You could use uh, paracord, you could use fill in the blank, right? I could just bust open the bracelet and use that instead. So you want something that's gonna lash these together. 
Now, I did some lashing uh, to bring them from point A to point B to start with on the hood of the Jeep. Um, I think uh, that what I will do is I will use that because it's going to fit just fine. I actually lashed them pretty good. And thanks for, to uh, Todd Survival Sherpa, um, I actually frapped them as well. And so it's pretty tight, uh, makes it real good. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to actually take the paracord off of this, which is what I was using to uh, to keep it on the Jeep. But I'm going to take the paracord off of this, and then I'm just going to uh, put the ends together um, so that we can uh, we can finish up the lashing, if you will. Now, again, going back to what do you need? You need cordage. You need the sticks, a cutting instrument, whether it be uh, like this piece of flint, uh, or whether it be a knife, or whether it be uh, an axe or hatchet or fill in the blank. So you're going to need something to cut this with. And then if you're using um, something like this tar bank line, which is what I have, as well as that paracord, you might also want to burn the end so you can use a lighter. That is completely, completely up to you. And um, in this situation, not necessary because again, you're using this for other things. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tighten up that lash there. Nothing major. Um, and that should be good to go. And all I'm doing is just running a, a double loop in there just to tighten it down. Okay. All right. So this end is done. Now what we have to do is we have to figure out on the other end how wide apart are we going to put them, how wide apart are we going to do them uh, so that it fits our needs. Okay. One of the other things you need is probably a dog to quit barking at you. Um, anyway, uh, basically I'm going to kind of lay out what I've got. All right. These are about four foot long. Um, and yes, I did cut a couple of them. I also snapped a couple of them. Uh, what you're looking for is something kind of green uh, because it's got a bare weight. Uh, if it's not green, then, well, it's probably not going to hold the weight you're looking for uh, overall. So that's one of the things you've got to do is make sure that you're bearing the weight. All right. Next step is I'm going to take each one of these and lash them. What I will probably do is I go ahead and take the long one, lash it towards the end, and I'll probably come about a foot off the two ends down there um, to make that bottom lash. And the reason being is, again, I want to do less work and be able to tote more weight. Okay, so let's go and have that done first. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and lash some of these and then I'll come back and we'll we'll talk about what has been done. I can do this between the, uh, the plane flyovers. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, typically what the next question is is, well, how did you do it? What kind of lashing are you using? How are you tying it all together? And you see, these are not great lashings by any stretch of the imagination. And the reason being is because my sticks are on top of the poplar, okay, on top of my, uh, my actually carry stick. Now, if they were underneath, you'd want to make sure these were not going anywhere. And you can see, I mean, it's not moving. But what I've done is I've actually, I'm actually using a square lashing uh, clove hitch on the top. Oof. A lot of tag in there uh, a little tag in going um, and then what we'll do is I'll go around one more time and then go underneath and the reason being is because um, this is quick it's easy I don't have to worry about anything and again it does not have to be perfect now the next question may be well how many inches between the logs and how long and look guys um, there's no book that tells me how to do this I mean there's really not um, so what you have to do and what I've what I've done is actually done a little bit of research on um, some of you know my, my degree is in math and physics and so I make sure that um, the information is exactly uh, what I need but basically I take I put it underneath I take and make sure that it holds uh, it does the job it's tight and then I can go in and do uh, the next round and uh, basically what you need is just what you need nothing more nothing less you're just trying to make sure you can get from point A to point B with your load in tow um, so once I've done my square lash and all I've done is gone around down and under up and over and under and back over again okay that's all I've done now the most important piece to any square lashing is what's considered the frapping. Now frapping is when I take and go 
this way. And then why this is important is because although that's, a, that's not real loose, it can work itself loose. So what you do is you take and you pull tight. Uh, I can use a toggle. And we can pull on that sucker until it's nice and snug. And then we get the next side going. And so we just continue going around a couple of times, making sure it's nice and snug. Or until I'm satisfied with what's going on. And then all I do is just tie it off with a overhand knot. That's it, nothing, nothing major uh, because it's already tightened down. And besides that, this is tarred bank line. Um, it's not going anywhere. So if I do it all properly ahead of time, um, I don't have to worry about that. And you see it ain't going anywhere. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, you'll see the spacing is not a big deal. It's just to make sure uh, that it's nice and secure. Okay? Let's look at this. All right, the whole thing, the whole purpose of us doing this project, if you will, is to get that log onto there and tote across the yard. And well, I'll actually show you that as well. Um, but rather than me toting <laughs> that stump or that log, if you will, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll it onto there. Because like I said, it is heavy. Um, some of the, the facts you may want to think about ahead of time is... Uh, these basically just need to be strong enough to hold whatever it is. Um, the distance, whether you have two, whether you have three, whether you have four, it's all completely based off of what you are carrying. If it is a heavy load, you might want four. If it's a light load, you may only want two. The distance between them is just based off of what you are carrying. Now, if you're carrying a person and a uh, you know an injured person as an example i would actually put another one probably right up in here so they can lay their head down maybe two of them right there so buttocks there head here and they can lay down all the way so that's kind of kind of my thought behind that uh, and how we do it so let's actually do the task okay <laughs> let's do the task So I can load this up and again pretty heavy can I lift it yes I can lift it can I put it on here yes I can put it on there not a problem uh, smarter would have been to roll it up on there maybe with another log in tow uh, but this is the one we're working on okay so this is the one we're gonna we're gonna be using so we did round one um, and what we found is that this actually came off not a big deal um, what I did is I just took, put me a piece of paracord over it. Um, hopefully it'll stay on this time uh, based off of that, but no big deal. That's some of the things that we have to work out, right? You have to make sure you secure your pack. Any genius uh, or non-intelligent person would have remembered to secure their pack. So apparently I'm lower than that. All right, so let's do this again. We're going to go in and uh, uh, do a less Stroud type thing. So we're going to go off into the distance so we can see if we can get it. Uh, uh, get it made and get it coated, if you will. Now, while this is heavy, it's not as heavy as toting that by itself. So what I'll do is I'll make sure we have a uh, have it going. So not too bad. Actually worked out great. A little bit higher above my waist, that way too. Going down the hill, and then I keep it above my waist, I keep my hands on it, and I carry it this way. So it does work, works great. Um, and I'm not toting that big whole heavy, heavy thing up and down uh, the road. So not too bad, I call it a success. You can see right there at the end, it was actually starting to slip off. Again, because we secured it, not a big deal. All right, so I would say thumbs up on that. Uh, make sure I secure it down a little bit tighter next time. Uh, I think my knot slipped is what it boiled down to, so I didn't use a prop appropriate knot. So there you go, folks, I hope you liked it. I hope this was very informative. I hope it was one of those things that uh, make it easy for you, whether you use it or not, at least it was informative for you and to you. Anyway, hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for your likes, your subscribes, your 
tweets, your retweets, your, your thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, comments below. Please continue, continue to do so. We've got some great things coming, some great information coming across as well. Uh, and we're also going to do some more reviews as the list goes down. So, uh, folks, hope that helps. And uh, till then, use your instincts to survive. Thanks for watching. Well, there's the downside, right? Securing your load. Now, what you did see is I was able to go in and carry it for quite a bit before that happened.